Hey guys, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool looking brush strokes slide show animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So let's open After Effects and get started. Alright, so let's start with the new composition. So click on this new composition and let's call it main comp and set the size 1920 by 1080 set this frame rate 30 duration make it 5 seconds long and hit ok and now we have to take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag our image or video file that we want to use in this project so go to composition new composition and let's call it media 1 and set the size 1920 by 1080 set this frame rate 30 duration make it 5 seconds long and hit ok and now we have to import our image or video file so go to your project window right click over here import file and select your image so i'm using this image and i have downloaded this from pixabay.com and link given in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import and now double click on this media one and let's open it up and drag this image into this composition and then go to your main composition and let's import media one into this main composition and hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's create a scale animation so go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value 110 percent and hit enter so as you can see we have a nice scale animation all right close this and now let's create brush stroke animation that we will be using as a track mat so let's import brush stroke png file so go to your project window and right click over here import file and import these three brushes uh, let me tell you i have given a link in the description for these brushes so go to the link and download these brushes and click on import and now select this brush one and drag it into this main composition and as you can see we have a brush stroke with transparent background so let's animate it so go to your effect and preset and search for linear wipe so this is our linear wipe effect let's apply this on brush one and go to around one second and here is transition so click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on transition property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this transition value maybe around 100 percent and as you can see it revealing from left to right so let's rotate it by 180 degree so here is wipe angle so set this angle maybe around 270 degree and hit enter so now it revealing from right to left and that's perfect and let's apply some feather so set this feather value maybe around 100 and hit enter so now it's looking nice all right now select this brush one hit u on the keyboard to bring out these active keyframe and select these keyframe and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease these keyframe all right so now we have a smooth animation okay and close this and now let's apply same linear wipe effect on brush 2 so go to your project window and import brush 2 into this main composition okay and go to very beginning of this animation and select this brush 1 go to effect control and select this linear wipe effect and hit ctrl c to copy and select this brush 2 and hit ctrl v to paste so as you can see we have same linear wipe effect on brush 2 also and let's apply same effect on brush 3 so go to your project window select this brush 3 and drag it into this 
composition and go to effect control and paste same linear wipe effect by hitting control V. Okay, and now let's turn off the visibility of this media one. So click on this I button. Okay, and now let's arrange these brushes. So select this brush one, hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up a bit. Okay, and set this over here and hit R on the keyboard to bring out these rotation properties and let's rotate it like that and select this brush too and drag it down and let's rotate it by 180 degrees so hit R on the keyboard to bring out these rotation properties of brush 2 and let's rotate it by 180 degree maybe like that and place it over here and hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up a bit and set it like that now select this brush 3 hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up a bit and set the position of this brush over here something like that and hit R on the keyboard to bring out this rotation properties and let's rotate it like that and place it over here alright and select this brush too and set it over here now select this brush 1 hit ctrl D to duplicate and drag this brush 1 over this brush 3 and hit R on the keyboard to bring out this rotation properties and let's rotate it like that and set this brush over here and let's down the size a bit so hit S on the keyboard and set it like that and now let's play this alright so as you can see all these brushes revealing at same time so let's create a gap of 5 frame between each brushes so select all these brushes hit U on the keyboard to bring out these active keyframes and let's set this CTI on frame number 5 and select this keyframe and drag it over here and set the CTI on frame number 10 and select this keyframe and drag it over here and set this CTI on frame number 15 and select this keyframe and drag it over here and now select all these brushes hit U again to close this up and let's play this alright so now it's looking nice okay now select all these brushes and let's pre-compose it so right click and click on this pre-compose and let's call it alpha mat and select move all attributes and hit OK. And now let's turn on the visibility of this media one. So select this media one and click on this I button. Okay. And now go to track mat. If you can't see this track mat option, then click on this toggle switches and go to this track mat and select alpha mat. Okay. So we get this type of effect here all right and select this both layer and pick a different color all right now select this layer and hit ctrl d to duplicate and pick a different color for better visibility okay and let's hide this upper layer for a second and select this bottom media one layer and let's rename it to media one black and white layer so media one bw okay and let's apply some effect on media one black and white layer so select this media one and go to your effect and preset and search for tint so this is our tint effect let's apply this on media one black and white layer so we have black and white image and now let's apply one more effect directional blur 
So this is a directional blur effect. Let's apply this on media one black and white layer and set this blur length value maybe around 15% and hit OK. Maybe 15% is a bit too much. So set this 10% and hit OK. Now it's looking nice. And now let's enable this media one by clicking on this I button. Okay, and select this upper alpha matte layer and hit R on the keyboard to bring out this rotation properties and let's rotate it by 180 degree, something like that. And set this value 180 and hit enter. So as you can see, black and white and colored both are revealing at the same time, but I want to create a gap of one second between these two groups so select this layer and set the CTI on one second and drag these two layer over here. And let's play this again. All right, so it's looking nice. All right, now let's create a background. So let's take a new solid. So hit control Y to take a new solid and let's call it BG and hit OK and let's create a gradient background. So select this background and go to effect and preset and search for gradient ramp. So select this gradient ramp effect and let's apply this on this background layer and create a nice gradient. So pick this start color, maybe like purple and pick this end color maybe like that and hit OK and let's set this gradient value something like that. Now it's looking nice and select this background layer and drag it below this media one black and white layer and select this media one black and white layer and hit control D to duplicate and drag this layer over this background layer and select this and hit T on the keyboard to bring out this opacity and set this opacity maybe around 10% and hit OK. So as you can see, we have a nice output something like that. And now let's create a text. So select this text tool and type a text whatever you want to type. So I'm typing after effect tutorial and select this tutorial and let's increase the size a bit like that and set this regular to bold okay and let's align this text in center so select this and go to alignment and set this by clicking on this horizontal alignment button Okay, basically set this text in center and select this text, right click on that and click on this pre-compose and let's call it text holder. Move all attribute, hit OK. And now let's set this text. So select this move tool and drag it over here and hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it down a bit and set it over here okay and now select this alpha mat hit ctrl d to create a duplicate and drag this alpha mat over this text layer and select this text holder and change this track mat to alpha mat so we get these type of effect here okay so now it's revealing like that and it's looking nice and now let's create a final transform so go to layer new and take a null object and let's rename it to transform and hit enter and select all these layer and parent it with transform something like that and select this transform hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties 
and go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and hit R on the keyboard to bring out this rotation properties and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on rotation also and then go to very beginning of this animation and set this rotation value maybe around 3 degree and hit enter and hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and set this scale value 110% and hit enter. And now let's play this. Alright, so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it. So I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.